I'm Hannah Bellis and today I'm going to be cooking one of John Tarode's recipes. It's called My My Chicken Pie. There's a couple of changes I'm going to be making to John's recipe, so I'll just tell you about them before we start. John's recipe is a large pie feeding a family of eight. I am a single woman, so instead I'm going to be making a series of small pot pies that I can keep in the freezer and just get out for me or a couple when I have friends over for dinner. As a result of that, John uses a whole chicken uh, to make his meat and his sauce. I, instead, I'm using these chicken thigh fillets. They were a bargain as well. Um, so I do know I'll have a half recipe and I'm not gonna have the same bones in the stock. So to try and counteract that, rather than using a stock cube, as John's recipe suggests, I'm using my own chicken stock. Um, he also talks about using sour, um, fresh cream, double cream in the recipe. I have some creme fraiche in my fridge because I had some friends who came over with a cheesecake and some creme fraiche. We ate the cheesecake and we left the creme fraiche. So I'll be putting that in instead. Uh, but apart from that, this is John to Rhodes, My My Chicken Pie. Let's hope it works well. Start by chopping one onion. Um, I am chopping it incredibly finely here but I realised after the event that I didn't need to do it this finely at all. This is going in uh, with the milk and chicken, which is, is how you cook the chicken in this milk broth. Uh, so eventually it's going to be strained out. You don't need it to be this fine. Uh, always read the recipe first. I'm also, I'm adding three bay leaves here. John's recipe only calls for two, and I'm doing a half recipe and I've added three, but I, I really love bay, so I've just gone to town with it. Similarly with the garlic clove that's going in now, you don't need to chop it this finely. Uh, I, I really went to town on it again, like the onion, but just roughly chop it, pop it into your pan. I'm using this casserole dish. Uh, if you're using a whole chicken, like John's recipe does, you're going to need a really big pan, which I also haven't got, so another reason for a half recipe. Here go the chicken thigh fillets into the pan. I thought about browning them, but John doesn't with the whole chicken, so I didn't. Adding in about half a litre of milk, John would then say top it up with water so it covers the chicken, but I'm adding the chicken stock from my freezer because I haven't got any bones in there, so hopefully that will just make it a bit more flavourful in the final sauce. Uh, so now we're moving on to prep the vegetables to go inside the pie, so it's worth spending a bit, bit more time finally chopping these. This is a leek, I've sliced it down the middle and just rinsed out the grit under a tap from the root outwards to make sure all the all the mud has come out. I grew this leek, so it was quite muddy. That's going into a pan. I've got my, my trusty iron skillet here. I love cast iron. Butter's going in there. John's full recipe calls for 50 grams of butter, so my half recipe should have about 25. I think I've got a bit more there, but never mind. It'll make the leeks go nice and soft. So the leeks have gone in there. We now want to add about 150 grams of button mushrooms. Um, I cut mine in half because they were quite big and they I'm just wiping them down with kitchen roll to remove the surface mud first. I don't like to get them wet because they I think they go a bit soggy and lose their flavour. Um, I perhaps should have done this all at once at the beginning but I, I didn't. I did this as I went along. Add 25 millilitres of water to them. Now we're adding the flour to make the roux. You want about 25 grams in the half recipe. Uh, stir it into your leek and mushrooms so you've got a nice thick paste. Then we've got milk there. The milk is the strained cooking liquid from the chicken thigh fillets. Um, that goes in to, to make the sauce. So we're going to add about 300 millilitres in final. I, I mean, keep topping it up as you go if you want. That's certainly what I was doing. Um, bringing it up to the boil. Then adding in, that's my creme fraiche rather than John's double cream. I uh, want about 100 millilitres of that in the half recipe. And then this is the chicken that I kept, obviously, from the cooking liquor. Uh, shredding it down. John says about thumb size pieces, which is good. I ended up with, with some smaller shreds than that. Then you add a handful of chopped parsley and season your sauce. And you're ready for your pastry work, uh, which I don't have on camera. Something went wrong here. Technical hitch. Uh, but I used shop-bought uh, short crust. John said it was fine. I trust him. It was fine. I put it into pot pies and rolled some circle tops for it. And then into the oven, 200 degrees for 25 minutes. I can't wait to eat it. There it is, like magic.